All right, so this is a charcoal portrait that came in today from eBay. And um, it's probably 140 years old. And it was probably done in the 1880s. Now, I've done extensive research on these in the past. And it turns out that these aren't just charcoal portraits, but they're actually solar enlargements from actual photographs. And... Um, Photography firms that, uh, basically like a photography house, uh, they used to sell these solar enlargements to artists, and then the artists would further detail the photograph. And a lot of times it's because uh, the photographic enlargements, uh, the sun didn't have the power to really burn it into the paper very well, and eventually these would fade, especially if they... There was moisture or sunlight that got to them and another problem was is that the original image a lot of times wasn't that pleasing because it didn't burn into the paper all that well and become that dark and this is probably an albumin print as you see right here this is like the silver nitrate and it's a basic black color that it turns into. Now, I would guess that the the coloring of like this sepia tone is actually, and you can see it's actually darker than when I point it straight at it, it lightens up the camera, but it's actually pretty dark. Um, that's probably a lot to do with aging more than the original look of the photograph. Now you can see right here all this shading and stuff on the face. Um, it's very unlikely that an artist was able to do shading like that. Um, especially with colored pencils or, you know, they might be able to smear their finger and make it really smooth like that. I used to draw a lot and do colored pencil and stuff like that as well. And it's not likely that they were able to do tones that well um, for shading. I think, honestly, you could see basically what they did is they had an image. It didn't look that great in the first place as a photograph. It needed to be touched up. A lot of the images from the 1800s uh, needed an artist to touch it up to really make it look great with some of these processes. Um, so they kind of went hand in hand with the, the photography. Now if you look, you can see the mustache was obviously touched up immensely. Um, there is a slight pencil line that I could see right here and here and around the ears. Um, obviously the hair's done. The eyes, of course, have been uh, touched up. And um, you can see what's, what always happens with these is the suit is extremely touched up. Um, this might have just been a big black area where you could hardly tell what the heck's going on. Um, and right here they added some little details. Just actually pretty cool, like for the time being, uh, the time period. It's actually kind of a modern looking, like modern art. So pretty interesting that they add that in there. But you know, they were really good artists. So, yeah, most likely, and you know, like I did, like I said, I did very extensive research and I have sources, I have like pictures and articles and like pictures of solar enlargers and like uh, articles I've read about how they uh, took the photos and they printed them and then they handed them to an artist, basically sold them to artists and the artist would complete the picture and make it more vivid so that people, uh, it would look a lot better to people. Now, something really interesting is like all these little white dots. I don't know what the heck went on here with these white dots. Um, hmm. And you can see like a lot of the pictures just like rotted away uh, and got like this like water damage over here. And up here there's water damage. And it's on 
it's on basically some kind of piece of like art paper, very thick art paper. And the size of these is pretty standard portrait size. It's uh, 16 by 20, which is just a standard size. Anyways, even though um, I'm an alternative process photographer, uh, and this is like mostly a drawing at this point, um, it's still, I think, my favorite type of portrait. So, and you know, I've kind of had this long obsession with uh, solar enlargements, uh, which inspired me to um, make really large prints as well um, because originally I thought this was the way to go was like solar enlargement uh, trying to be off authentic and stuff like that but it's just um, the sun's power is only so much and through a lens it's diminished and then the more you enlarge it uh, it goes down f stop by f stop and pretty soon this is probably the extent of what it could possibly do and also the old printing processes were just, um, you know, printing processes compared to photographic processes in general are a very slow exposure process uh, where like, you know, a photograph is something that could be taken like in a hundredth of a second. And with this stuff, we're talking about, you know, like uh, 15 minutes to a couple hours of constant exposure now this backing came with it and um, I think it says mrs. Louise white and Willoughby Pennsylvania so I don't know it's so hard to read their writing anymore you know it looks a little better on this camera because it's more contrasty Yeah, I think that's what it says.